Hi, welcome back on lesson 10. So we're going to have a look at the adverb position. Adverb and adverbal positions. So, the adverbs ago and enough are exceptional. Since they usually follow the adjectives or adverbs they modify. Example, that happened long ago. He is old enough to make his own decisions, his own decisions. We, we run, we ran fast enough to catch the bus, okay? So in these examples, the adverbs are going enough, uh, follow the words they modify. So a go modifies the verb long and enough modifies the adjectives old and the adverb fast. I know it's a little rules, right? Uh, and then here we have some more examples. Uh, do we have enough apples to make a pie? Okay, so it's uh, showing you all the little rules when we can use them. Uh, and then we have, and of course there are more examples here for you with a go uh, and a gone for the past participle. But now we're going to have a look at the, at the intensifier. So an adverb which is used to modify adjectives and adverbs, but they, you know, but they usually use more uh, modify verbs so for example i am very happy very happy the film was quite good you did that rather well must you leave so soon what i would like for you to do here is create one phrase for each of them one phrase for very quite rather and so just so you you know just so you practice them and then we have more examples for uh, very modifies the adjectives happy, quiet modifies the adjectives good, rather modifies the ad uh, adverb well, and so modifies the adverb soon. So here is the answer for you know uh, the examples. And then we have the um, the intransitive verbs followed by an adverbs and the transit verbs followed by the adverbs as well. Uh, these here are the, the examples to show you the differences, okay? Uh, then we have the phrasal and its meaning. So for example, bounce back, we're using two together. Bounce back, what does bounce back mean? Recover. Catch on, what does it mean? Be widely accepted. Uh, fade away or fell off, become less. Go on to continue. So there are many meanings which I'll like for you to read them. Okay, so these are the two phrasal verbs. So it has, you know, uh, it, it, it's, in a, it's a classified as a common expression. Uh, pitch in, pass out, move in, grow up, play along, settle down, take off, uh, look up, make up, pick up. Okay, so to collect, to sort out, to organize. So here is the meaning of them uh, on your right hand side and then on the left hand side, you're going to see the common expressions, how we put, you know, play with it. We, here we start playing with the words and of course they become uh, different meanings. Okay, so let's have a look at that. Uh, for example, just the last one, I'm going to give you this last example. Uh, we called off the wedding. Call off means to cancel. But if you're going to just say call off, it doesn't make sense what it's called. Call, ring, ring. Off, it's switched off. You know, with a double F. So how does that make sense? Call and off. So you don't really translate all the words because if you're going to do that, it's not going to make sense. So when you know we put them together, it creates a whole different meaning. So it's important for you to read some. Of course, there are so many more. I mean, there's you know there are lists and lists and lists of this. But here is just a starter for you to have a look at some of them. All right. Uh, it's interesting as well for you to do as an exercise. Maybe not not the whole one because of you know there's about 25 in here. But maybe, if possible, create about 10 phrases using them, okay, using these common expressions, just so you 
you know start becoming a bit more relaxed with them i think it's important all right and don't like i said don't translate them how it is because it's not gonna make sense and you're not gonna understand it so just see the meaning and try to make a phrase out of the meaning okay see you soon sorry see you soon bye